All right, quick question from Reddit that I want to show you guys how to answer in Power Query. So this poster says they have five columns of data, which has millions of rows. Let's call this table A. I also have five columns of data where there are about 20,000 rows. Let's call this table B. This poster wants to get all of the rows from table A, where four of the columns are equal to four columns from table B. Then I would like to output whether or not the last column, column five, from both tables are equal to each other. It says approximately equal here. We'll, we'll just focus on equal for the purpose of this video. So this is a great opportunity to use Power Query. I mean, it's, it's sort of a, a good setup comparing two tables. Uh, Power Query is a great tool for doing that. And it's particularly when you talk about this volume of data, right? This, this poster has millions of rows in one table. Um, Excel is limited to about a million, million rows, so I'm not sure how they're doing this. Um, but 20,000 rows in the other, so a great opportunity to use Power Query. So what I've done is I've set up two tables. This we'll call table A. It has columns A1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Um, rather than a million rows in this, I've generated, um, let me slide this over just a little bit. I've generated 300 uh, rows of just random data. And then what I did is I copied 20 of these rows into table B. Okay, 20 rows into table B. I added on another 20 of just random data. And then I went through those 20 data points, and for 10 of them, I changed the value in B5 to some random number. Okay, so now there are 10 rows in this table that are identical to A. There are 10 rows which are identical in the first four columns and then have a different value in column five. And then there are another 20 rows that are just random. Okay, so how do we make this comparison? What I'm going to do first is just go to the data tab and create a query connecting to each of these tables. So all I need to do is go to from table range. Power Query is going to pull this data in. I don't need to do anything with, with it. All I'm going to do is exit and I'm going to keep my changes. Now Power Query loves to uh, just create a sheet as soon as you make a connection to a new data source. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. By the way, if you know a way to stop this from happening, please let me know because I, I get tired of uh, making these connections and just deleting them right away. So, so again, now I'm going to table A. It doesn't matter what order you do this, but I'm going to go to get data from table range and do the same thing. I'm just going to exit this. All I want to do is create a connection here. I'm not changing this data in any way. So we're going to keep my changes and I'm just going to delete this new sheet. Okay, so now what I want to do is merge these two queries together. So what I'm going to do is go to the data tab, go to get data. I'm going to go down here to combine queries, right? What I want to do is combine these two queries I just created into one new data set. So I'm going to do a merge. So it brings up this window. It says, what, what's the sort of the primary, the base table that you want? It really doesn't matter what we pick in this case, but I'm going to go and say table A. So of course the other is table B. Now, down here, I'm going to pick the type of join that I want. The, the correct one is already selected, which is left outer, but all you have to do is read the description, and it'll explain what it's doing, right? So in a left outer join, we're saying keep all of the records from the first table, table A, which match the second table. Now, in this case, we, we could do the exact same thing, but in reverse, which is keep all of the records from the second table, which match the first um, but in other scenarios, you know, you may want to do one or the other, but for, for this example, we're going to go with left outer. Now, typically what you do is you match these two tables together based on one column, you know, like a, like an ID number or some, some unique number, right? So I might say match table or match, uh, column a one with column B one. And that's all I would do. And, and power query tells me really quickly, it says I found 29 matches based on column columns A1 and B1. But what I can do, since we're looking to match four columns in this scenario, is I can just hold down control and I'm going to select all four of these from both tables. So now we're only matching where all four of these columns match all four of these columns. And I'm just, you can see it says it matched 20 rows, which is exactly what we copied over, copied over 20 rows. So I'm going to press OK. So what this is now showing me, I'm seeing all of the values from table A 
And then it's giving me basically a link to table B where it has the corresponding values from table B. So what I can do is expand this out. And I can say, I can pick which columns I want to view or work with. Now, B1234, those are already identical to A1234. We don't need to show those for any reason. I'm just going to uncheck them. But B5 we do care about, right? Because we know that A5 and B5 are different in a few instances. We want to find those differences. So I'm going to press OK. Now the first thing that happens, um, you're going to see a lot of null values in here. And that's because for every single row of um, table A, it's tried to pull in a, a value from table B. And where it couldn't find it, it actually just put in a null, right? That's what happens when we do a left outer join. It says keep all from table from table one or from table A. So we're just going to filter out these null values. That's all we have to do. And there we have it. So now I have all, you can see down here, all 20 rows that are matching in the first four columns between the two tables. Now we can do the final step, right, which is compare columns, column five from table A to column five from table B. Now I could just export this to a sheet and do a little formula to uh, do this comparison, but we're already in Power Query, so I may as well do it here. Uh, very simple formula. I'm just going to go to Add Column, Custom Column. And the formula is simply going to be, I want to know if A5 is equal to B5. That's it. So that's just going to give me a true or false value based on whether those are equal. If you need to do some sort of other operation on this, you can do it all here. So, but we'll, we'll just do a simple uh, comparison here. So there you have it. So we, we get a, we get true and false values. If I was only interested in the ones where they were different, I could filter it. You know, I only want to see the ones where these two values are different. Um, or of course I could do the same if I only want to see the ones that were true. But um, in this case, we'll, we'll, we'll just send them both to the spreadsheet. So let's just go and be done with this. Keep, and it's going to export to a sheet. And here you, here you go. So I've got all the values that are matching between A and B in the first four columns. I can now see the value from column five and table A right next to the value from column five and table B. And then I've gone through and Power Query has added this custom calculated column that compares the true and gives me a true or false whether they match. So yeah, hopefully this helps the poster out. It's kind of a specific scenario, but you know maybe someone else will find this useful as well.